So I guess nobody would deny for the past few days this situation has been wilder than Johnny Sin's movies. I mean, no pun intended. If they wanted, they could make a movie out of it. it perhaps even a sequel out of it based on the stuff that I'm seeing right now because YouTube has fully demonetized this channel. Apparently, there's some new stuff that is now coming out as well. I, I want to show you all of that in this video. Like this video if you have never seen anything like this because it takes years to build and in the case of Dr. Disrespect, the character that he built, millions have loved. He took years to build it and it's so sad to see all of that repetition go down within like, what, less than a week? Insanity and check this. Dr. Disrespect is on the verge of one of the largest downfalls in creator history, going from being one of the most respected and popular streamers on the internet to being hated by everyone after admitting some awfully disturbing action. I, I wouldn't say everyone because there are still people defending. I guess they got their reasonings, but it's inexcusable. The stuff that he admitted to, it's indefensible. He was talking inappropriately with a minor. Where I truly believe this scumbag needs to be banned off of the platforms that he's on. I, I don't know who's really going to support him at this point. Like, who, who, what kind of person is going to watch Dr. Disrespect? If you watch him at this point, you just have to be coping, basically. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be diving into the case. Bro, pumped out a movie this quick? Bro, pumped out a documentary? Normally, he takes a bit, but yeah, man, everybody uh, is covering the story because it's insane. He's a disrespect, a once beloved streamer who is now being viewed as a unfaithful predator. But to fully understand the current situation, we first have to go back to where- You guys really think he's a predator? One in the comments if you think he's a predator, two if you think he's not. Because I, I don't think he is a predator. I, I don't think he is. But what he admitted to and what he has done, indefensible, absolutely. But I don't think he's a predator because in my mind, it's like if he met and if evidence like that comes out where we see that he met minors in that aspect, oh yeah, absolutely, then there would be charges, that, then absolutely, right? Because to me, EDP, I would consider EDP a predator, but so far, based on the stuff that I'm seeing, I'm trying to be unbiased as possible here, okay guys? Uh, based on the stuff that I'm seeing, not a predator, but what he has done, indefensible, and uh, the stuff that we're seeing uh, come his way, absolutely understandable. It all started. In June of 2020, Dr. Disrespect, who was the face of Twitch at the time, was permanently banned from the platform. The suddenness of the high-profile banning, coupled with the silence from both Dr. Disrespect and Twitch on the matter, would turn the ban into one of the most infamous and mysterious bans in Twitch history and spark several conspiracy theories. Crazy, this wouldn't huh? be helped by his final moments on stream appearing like he found out something extremely bad was about to happen. We'll, 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 get, we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, it's, yeah, I know it's a tough that's life's weird right now. I we'll get through this, okay? And uh hey, Christopher. Fuck. <laughs> this strange This was four years ago, and that was the day that he got banned on Twitch. And today, four years later, can you believe it? June 28, 2024, Dr. Disrespect has been fully demonetized by YouTube. Now, yeah, he has not been banned. His channel is still there. It's not like Twitch where they're just like, you know, pull the trigger right then and there. But YouTube has demonetized, which is, I mean, listen, right? Like, yeah, it's like you going to work, but not getting paid for it, essentially. And your boss is like, yeah, bro, it's going to be fun. Come work for me for free, right? But we're talking Dr. Disrespect here. So I don't think he's going to have any issue with money. I don't think he's going to have too much of a problem with that because he's uh, worth like, what, tens of millions of dollars. So yeah, I don't think he's uh, in trouble money-wise, but you know what I mean, right? Like Behavior would leave viewers to leave comments such as, whatever's coming, it ain't going to be a small matter. That mood he gets into near the end, I'm scared. As well as, 242, I kind of wanted to get off and now I don't want to get off. He realized it would be his last stream ever, so he said that. Despite these comments, no one could have been prepared for the real reason he was actually banned. In August of 2020, Doc would return to streaming, but this time on YouTube. His first stream on the platform attracted a massive audience, and uh, he yeah. seemingly came back stronger than ever, going on to claim that he had no idea why he was even banned in the first place. Why did you get banned? Guess what? Yeah, we saw his response in initially right like on twitch he was like he felt really really off uh and, and yeah a lot of people were assuming that it was probably because of david he mentioned those of you that know you know okay i cannot say that word on youtube because it would be counterproductive right because a lot of there were a lot of conspiracies that uh he was talking about david i see uh k e 
right so a lot of people were assuming that was the case but now we're learning it was not or perhaps it was or i don't know right but uh, apparently doc has admitted to the allegation so it doesn't help uh case closed kind of right but yeah so he felt re really off and then he came out and said that he didn't know the reasons it's hard to believe that but if true if you want to believe that i guess during his last words on that twitch live stream all the way back in 2020 when he felt off I guess he was, he just received a text saying that, okay, we're banning you. And he was like, oh crap, like, wh what, what is going on? Right? Maybe, maybe that's what it was. I want you to look me in the fucking eyes when I say this. We still have no idea. Over the following four years. You got sunglasses on, bro. I his ban would remain a mystery, and he would grow his YouTube channel to over 4.7 million subscribers, and continue to be one of the most popular streamers on the internet. But this would all completely change in 2024. On the 22nd of June, Cody Connors, an ex Twitch employee, would make a tweet that would mark the beginning of the end for Dr. Disrespect. The tweet Crazy, read, man. He got banned because he got caught texting a m in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers at B could read and plain text case closed gang and, and insane part about this tweet here is that guys uh, he says he got banned right he never said the word doctor disrespect oh, shit. and this was one of the argument that i was uh bringing up in one of the previous videos where uh, uh, people were saying that doc gotta sue him but now we're far past that right doc has admitted to all the allegations and i was like hey and you guys were, were also like we need evidence understandable like these claims are insane these claims are bigger than that of hey aliens were at area 51 right it's it was bigger than the question of are we alone in the universe or not and guys for that we have a second channel this is where we upload every single day we cover ufo stuff conspiracy stuff every single day i would definitely love to have you there let me change your kish but uh here's the thing though so basically he never said the word doctor disrespect so if doc wanted to i guess sue him he can't because he never you uh, never said his name and, and everybody linked this to doc i guess people were like okay we're gonna report this news and we're gonna just say the name doc and then everybody started believing that it was uh he was talking about doc and of course he was talking about doc but he never said that to begin with and then uh of course dr disrespect responded by saying no wrongdoing and everybody was like bro just say uh, why are you saying no wrongdoing just say that you didn't meet with a minor or you didn't text it inappropriately but of course he did and later on he would say that yeah bro uh, I, I actually texted a minor inappropriately and sometimes the, the conversation would lean in the in inappropriately i'm paraphrasing him but he said that right the tweet was making big claims with little to no evidence to back them up and the reaction from the internet would be extremely mixed with some jumping to the conclusion that he's a creep despite the lack of evidence and others waiting to hear more about the situation or calling cody an unreliable source of information with comments reading hey doc i heard you like him young we need sources and more information like who as well as source yeah yeah i, I agree with the guy like you guys gotta understand that when uh, when this happened we didn't have any proof we didn't have any evidence and so yeah uh, uh, of course like bro we're, we're talking about somebody's life here right somebody's livelihood people that hate dr disrespect they just were like yeah bro whatever you say whatever bad whatever bad thing that you're gonna come out with we're just gonna agree with it and we're gonna believe it right like yeah evidence don't matter nothing matters we're like what are we talking about but now of course he has admitted so it, it's totally uh, understandable but back when you know we didn't have anything like we, yeah absolutely like you, you need the evidence for just like that. Just trust me bro. While Cody's tweet didn't explicitly mention Dr. Disrespect, Jake mm. Lucky's repost would result in a response from Doc that would ultimately make the situation so worse. much worse. Yeah. Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. The tweet would garner significant criticism. I think Dr. Disrespect was really really in his character and he was like I'm just gonna say that and it's just gonna Fly, but it did not he was like yeah you know no wrongdoing was found and they paid me the contract right like nothing bad gonna happen it's gonna fly but it didn't fly you guys think that if he never responded we wouldn't yeah if he never responded i guess then it would be like okay some youtubers uh myself uh, and everybody you guys uh we would just talk about it and then it's like over right like nobody would be because then there would be no fuel right unless he came out with receipts and actual evidence. You guys believe that? I, I believe that. Unless if he never, if he never, if Doc never responded, and then Cody never 
came out with evidence if nobody came out with evidence after that i guess it would have been over but he actually confirmed that and he admitted to all these allegations he kind of in a way shot himself on the foot for the strange and concerning use of vague and illegal leaks language, leaving readers wondering why Doc said no wrongdoing was acknowledged instead of just denying yeah. the career ending allegations. Following the significant backlash, Doc would make another response on the situation, adding a bit more context, stating, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the fing internet. I didn't do anything wrong, and all of this has been probed and settled. Nothing Damn. illegal, no wrongdoing was found and I was paid Elden Ring Monday. While this tweet was <laughs> better than the first, it still had strange language, like no wrongdoing was found and that he was quote paid. Ultimately, the tweet would result in an even more polarizing response from the community, yeah. with large figures such as the Axe Man coming to his defense, stating, degenerate troglodyte losers are trying to slander him with serious accusations that could destroy- The stuff that- I, I like the Axe Man, right? I liked him a lot more before he, he actually called out heels uh, versus baby face and he was like, okay, now, nah, yo, bro, you need to get shot with a bear tranquilizer. The Ackman actually did say that. Because uh, Heel vs. Babyface was just calling out all the woke, woke nonsense that was happening in video games, right? And he has his reasons. Everybody has the right to love a game or to not like a game for whatever reasons they have, okay? Free speech. We're talking free speech, right? And the Ackman went absolutely insane on him. And this time, the Ackman was defending uh in a in a in a, in the beginning ultimately it didn't turn out to be uh, in his favor but the Eggman in this case of course like he was being reasonable when he says providing zero proof yeah absolutely that's uh that's the point right so we should not believe everything uh that we see on the internet and already there are a lot of people and i'm pretty sure some of you are already thinking this that we need the chat logs right we need the chat logs and in a way i agree with it because some people are saying that okay yeah this is insane the these are career ending allegations but guys you you need to understand doc has admitted to it if he never admitted to it, then yeah, there would be some leeway. But now, it, it's people are like, hey, it's not that bad. Like, we need the chat logs. And maybe if we get the chat logs, and maybe it's not that bad. It's a big maybe, but it's hard to believe it when Doc himself has admitted to it. Y you know what I mean? And it's inexcusable. It's indefensible. You cannot defend Doc on this one. And, and the, the age, 17 years old, I'm seeing that go a a a around a lot. That's a rumor. We don't know the age. A lot of people are saying that, yeah, the, the chick was uh, 17 years old. All what we know is it's, it was a minor admitted by Doc. We don't know how old, yeah, it could have been he or she. We don't even know the gender, of the, though. That's the thing, though. It was just a rumor. Uh, the age is not known so far. Uh, maybe we're going to find out. All we know, it was a minor. We don't even know if, if it was a guy or if it was a boy or a girl. For his entire career, while providing literally zero proof. In other words, some pussies have a vendetta slash grudge against him and want That's to damage true. his reputation as much as possible. That's and true. others That's true. for taking his use of vague language against such serious allegations. Bro, why won't you say I was not talking to a minor trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon like what was alleged? But things were about to get much, uh -oh. much worse. Uh -oh. On the 24th of June, while Stock was streaming Elden Ring, a game company he co-founded would make a tweet that would change everything. Thing. Yeah. Reading, on Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, aka Dr. Disrespect. Rip. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. While Man. these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers developers and families we've employed along with our community his own gaming studio man the studio that he started without dr disrespect this studio would have never been started and i i bet you that dr disrespect uh, a dr disrespect owned 100 percent of the studio but later on he brought in uh robert bowling and i guess he uh, i'm assuming that here that he made him a business I, I mean he made him a business partner that's known but i'm assuming that he gave him some percentage of ownership perhaps 50 percent ownership right Th that's the part that i'm assuming right now but uh but yeah he gave him some ownership and then they they, they ultimately fired him but I guess Doc also 
chose to be fired, I guess. Because he owns it too, so I don't think legally you can fire somebody. It's, it's one of those things, right? Like you and your spouse buy a house, even if your spouse don't own it. <laughs> you still have the right off off your house 50% legally, right? Once you if you if your wife uh, your spouse divorce you and they they own 50% off it generally speaking unless you have prenup or you have gone in the other direction you have incorporated um yeah right but 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 but, but you know what I mean right so it's insane insane to think about that his own studio fires him right and, and then sponsors drop him as well. And NBA 2K, he has a character in NBA 2K24, I believe. So they remove him. And I've seen this. People have been saying this. That, so you're going to remove Dr. Disrespect from, uh, from NBA 2K24, but you're not going to remove actual criminals that you have as skins in your game? Yeah, people are saying that. Makes total sense, right? Like, you, you suck has got to remove the other criminals as well from uh, your, your game. Not defending Doc here, but this comment is reasonable as well. Because the cancellation that we're seeing is insane. Justifyingly as well, because he has admitted and all that. But, but, but you know what I mean, right? Like, we got to be fair to uh, all of this then. Community of players. The tweet went live while Stock was streaming, and viewers claim this is the exact moment he saw the post. You know how run things? Here. Towards the end of the stream, Doc seemingly came to terms with reality and what was awaiting him in the near future. I think I, when I say step away, I think either have to relay this to the midnight society, but I, you know, maybe I step away from there too. Just Damn. completely remove myself from the scene. It's what I need to do. The following day, he, uh, yeah, it's very likely that he did receive the text, and the way he said that, I remove myself, but 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 his own studio is like, we gotta, we, we are terminating the relationship. Uh, it's insane. On the 26th of June 2024, Doctor Disrespect would post a tweet that would not only possibly end his career, but completely Crazy. confirm the reason he was banned from Twitch. With his response reading, "The Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at." Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our Damn. team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Oh, it feels like that doctor to suspect the way it sounds like he mutually, right? Like it, it was a mutual decision, and maybe it was, but the way. His own studio put up the tweet. It feels like that it was not mutual. It's like, hey, bro, like, now, nah, bro, you're, we're firing your ass. You gotta go. That's how it sounds like from their perspective and from the perspective of Doc. It feels like a mutual decision. And also, here's the thing, though. Without Doc, like, this game, there's no Midnight Society without Doc. There's no Dead Rob. That's the game that he's, uh, uh, he and his studio is working on. Yeah, right? Like, without him, that, that game is done. Or, or maybe we're gonna see a miracle because all of because of all this backlash. Whenever that game comes out, it's gonna get all the eyes on it. But I, I don't think that would happen. Yeah, maybe all the eyes on it, but I don't think anybody would purchase unless it's free to play. Then maybe people will try it out. Yeah, it, it's gonna be a miracle. Everyone Dude. has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside my control, I wasn't allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? Uh -oh. The answer is yes. Were Rip. there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate 
it, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should yeah. have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no predator or PDF file. Are you kidding me? Anyone? Oh man. And the comments that I'm seeing is like from dot doc to PDF file and he said it that way because yeah, insane. Now honestly though, like opinion, I don't think he is a predator. I don't think he's a PDF file. Not defending him, but uh it's inexcusable, indefensible. Like uh I've said it multiple times in this video and previous videos as well. Absolutely you you can yeah, you know. But I don't think he is PDF. Because, but if evidence comes out supporting it, then of course opinions would change. Of course, 100%. Because if evidence comes out that he was meeting with a minor like that, oh, then yeah, he's a predator. Then he is a, a PDF file. Thoughts? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. F that. That's a different level of disgust that I hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the F out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's Man. why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore. But just know, you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this. To all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give an F about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not effing going anywhere. I'm yeah, then it, it's like he's not, he's now in his uh, Dr. Disrespect character. We just needed Dr. Respect. <laughs> Man, we needed Dr. Respect. We got Dr. Disrespecting his career, Dr. Disrespecting his wife, his kids, his career, reputation, and everything. He disrespecting everything, man, and everybody right now, man. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They and, and here's the thing, though, right? You might not like this, but uh, I, I believe people can make mistakes and people can change. Now, to uh, I'm not defending his behavior. I'm generally speaking, right? Like, yeah, absolutely, people can make mistakes and learn from it and become better people. In the case of Doc, I don't know if he did or not, but uh, yeah, I, I would like to give people second chances. But in this case, it's very unclear as to what have happened because there were multiple things N not trying to judge the guy but like you know cheating on his wife a and recently i'm not sure he's probably gonna cover it so you're about to see it uh, uh, then then text leaking out right now as well not with this uh alleged minor situation here but with somebody else so doc was like a, a freaky guy he was a he was a freaky guy i mean this is why i always say man control your bbc's control your bwc's lbc's lwc's i don't know what you got i don't want to know but like yeah man like <laughs> don't do it don't do it it's not good bro control that dragon otherwise your d will lead you to dangerous places just like we're, we're seeing what's happening uh here with doc here man like he had everything career or oh, amazing career bro amazing career this takes years and years to build man like the type of stuff the type of the types of heights he actually achieved man only a handful like point zero 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 one percent of people can achieve bruh like th this was insane uh what he achieved it is truly insane truly amazing but but it just took like what couple of days to lose it all i, I mean i'm not saying like of course like people are defending that defending him oh yeah it's insane right people are defending him 
and we're probably gonna see his viewership be crazy whenever he comes back uh, yeah absolutely but what i mean is that he has burned a lot of bridges a, a lot of relationships with other youtubers uh his friends and, and of course sponsors dropping him and everything uh youtube demonetizing twitch banning him so it's insane like he he's never gonna be the same he's never gonna be looked at the same unless unless we get the evidence in terms of the chat logs and we get to see the messages and i'm saying only it's it can be reversible in a way if only those messages are not as bad as what in comparison to what we're now hearing and seeing right you feel what i'm saying they want me to disappear. Yeah, right. Following the response, Doc would continue to edit the tweet, removing the word minor and then adding it back in due yeah, to backlash that with a reply stating, he edited out minor, got caught on it, and then edited it back in. Quite the apology when you're still trying to skirt responsibility. As expected, the tweet would go incredibly viral, gaining over 60 million views within just 12 hours, leading users to dig even deeper into his history, with oh, user man, Chrissy yeah. digging up a clip of Doc allegedly admitting to cheating on his wife at the 2017 TwitchCon, which also happens to be the same year he was allegedly messaging the minor to find out what she was doing at the convention. Crazy. Yeah, as you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid, and um i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful and he never should have uh, made this video apology public because it's a it's a private thing right like uh yeah if your wife your family forgives you then yeah whatever because uh i'm nobody to judge you on this one right like nobody's uh nobody should judge you nobody needs to judge you it's between you and your wife and if your wife felt like that this was too much and she wanted to leave i, I would respect that and, and the fact uh so far what we are learning is that yeah like uh he was able to i guess uh get things set things right with his family and that's beautiful i, I respect that too because like it, yeah it's like between him and the chick that he cheated uh, with on his wife and it's also between uh you know his wife as well right like this is a private thing but, but he made that public a lot of people think that it's because like the wife wanted or or maybe it's like he, he was like yeah bro i made a massive mistake i'm just gonna make it public because i feel that guilt maybe he really really felt that guilty and maybe uh the uh, the, the uh, he sexed with the minor before this right or maybe after if he did that after that's insane but if he did it before it's still insane but what i mean is that after this I guess he changed uh, for the better, but it's one of those things though, right? Like it happened like what, seven, eight years ago, gets banned four years ago, and now all of this is being made public as well. A, a truly insane turn of events, man. Insanity, bro. The response from the YouTube community was brutal to say the least, with creators such as Penguin Zero, some ordinary gamers, and CoffeeZilla all making videos on the situation and calling out Doc for his disgusting behavior. During Penguin Zero, aka Charlie's video, he would completely destroy Doc, first addressing how he sneakily edited his tweet multiple times. Now, the Doc actually edited this statement twice. So initially, he posted yeah, it yeah, with yeah. the word minor in it, saying, Were there messages with an individual minor? The answer is yes. But then, shortly Shortly after he published it, he edited the word minor out of it. Yeah. So he removed that. He redacted it like a fucking CIA document, trying to bury it, just snapping it out of existence. So then it read, were there messages with an individual? The answer is yes. But people were quick to notice the edit. Yeah. And you can actually check. The scholars were there. The scholars saw it. The Twitter detective saw it. Reddit investigators saw it. Everybody saw that. And it doesn't look good on him. It, it doesn't. And, and later on, when he found out that, oh, it's over. It's Joe over. I'm just gonna re-edit and leave that word inside. And yeah, there you go. He admitted. Edit history on Twitter, which I didn't know you can do, but you could clearly see that the original no longer matched the current one because he took the word minor out. So when people caught him red-handed, he just edited it one more time to put the word minor back into it. Charlie? I I'm pretty sure, like, <laughs> Dr. Disrespect must be hating Elon Musk, man. <laughs> he must be like, yo, Elon Musk, you had one job to not show my added history, and you did. You showed my added history. Yeah, like, yeah, cr insane, man. Who would have thought? He would also critique Doc's strange ending of the tweet, stating, He tries to close this statement with a really hard, cheesy 80s action movie one-liner. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. You're lucky you didn't blow the welds off the intake. I'm not leaving. It's really kind of 
ridiculous to put that there with accusations like this. Yeah. Finally, yeah, yeah. Charlie would counter the argument that Doc possibly didn't know the age of the minor he was talking to. Now, what's not clear and what a lot of people are coping yep, yep, with yep. is that maybe Dr. Disrespect didn't know the age of the person he was communicating with. I wouldn't say that yeah, some people are absolutely coping with it 100% but some people I I feel like it's reasonable to ask if Doc knew or not because that also does change a lot of things for people oh absolutely right but some people surely cope and, and right now what we're hearing is that he knew but but uh, again uh, this one is not coming from Doc himself but it's coming from the the, the people that actually broke this news right that Doc was uh, sexting a minor and then later on Doc actually acknowledging it, he admitted that he was. And also, this is just a logical point here that Doc, I mean, he probably could have put it in his uh, apology, in his statement that, yeah, bro, like, I didn't know, but it looks like he knew and he just never never put that there because he knew right so just logically and uh, of course doc or anybody for the matter will if something bad happens to them they're gonna apologize but they're also gonna make sure they put their best foot forward so we're getting we're getting the best version out from dr disrespect right now the statement is probably his best version to be honest things were definitely worse than them you know what i mean but i truly feel if that was the case, Dr. Disrespect would have mentioned that, saying that he had those communications with this person that he believed was of age but turned out to be a minor. I yeah. think if that was the reality of that situation, if he truly communicated with someone that he thought was of age but turned out to be a minor, I think he would have mentioned that in this statement. But yeah, he didn't. Absolutely. He absolutely. didn't say that he was under the impression he was communicating with an adult. He just says that he had conversations with an, indiv with an individual minor. Mm. He doesn't say anything like oh, oh crap like i thought this was a <laughs> lightning strike by youtube or something like that oh god damn oh they were actually one day away from being 18 or i really thought they were you know in their 20s or anything like that and I think if that was what happened, it would have been mentioned here. I really do. To make matters even worse, even uh -oh. his previous friends and defenders took a stance against him Nick, after he Nick admitted Merckx. he was having an inappropriate conversation with a minor, with Nick Merck stating, Yeah. Yo, yo, checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter and uh, I read through Doc's tweet. And in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's, that's inexcusable. Yeah. It's unacceptable, right? Uh, Absolutely, no excuse yeah. for something like that. And with the act man stating, what's up, everybody? This is the act man. <laughs> Okay, this one I did not see. Holy crap. Like, uh, yeah, bro, every... This is this is insane, right? I've also been reading some of your guys' comments. I mean, I read all your guys' comments, but some of you are saying that, bro, like, why is everybody covering this? We get it. But why is everybody covering this? Bro, everybody's covering it. Because you want to know why? Doc's character, this is the same thing, man. I was saying, bro, he achieved what very few have and very few will the heights he reached crazy man it's insane how much he achieved bro you, you know what i mean so the bigger they are the harder they fall it's one of those things and a lot of people loved his character a lot of people loved his streams oh absolutely and a lot of people still love it a lot of people still defending him which is insane to me you cannot defend him on this one guys yeah, it could have been, maybe would have been this and that. Maybe the cancellation is a lot more severe than than uh, in, in comparison to the real uh, PDF files. But I, I'm saying that, I'm saying that as in like tomorrow, that evidence can come out and it, it would be over. It would be complete. It already is over. Don't get me wrong. But my point that I'm trying to make here is that I don't think he's a predator. But what he did inexcusable indefensible but if tomorrow evidence comes out that that actually shows or if he we see pictures of him with minors oh then oh yeah it, it it's over it already is over but at that point you, you know what i mean right in here and this is my final verdict on the doctor disrespect situation as you might have seen i've been pretty vocal about this on twitter and doc has finally given us the truth at long last we know why he was banned and it's not good so first, I want to read this part where he says, 
It's the most important part of his tweet. Were there Twitch Whisper messages with an individual miner back in 2017? Yeah. The answer is yes. These were casual mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Yeah, I've seen enough rip. to catch a predator to know when somebody is using language to soften the blow. To down... Yeah, the, he's putting his best foot forward. The statement is probably the the, the best one, right? Like, it, for example, if you're caught stealing, you're first of all, you're going to say, no, bro, like, no, bro, like, I was not stealing, I was not stealing. And when they show you the evidence, like, camera would be, like, if they caught you on camera, they would play the video for you and they would show that you got, they would show you that you got caught uh, stealing. Then you'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I was doing it for that reason, for this reason. Please, man, like, I, I don't have the money. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. But still, that doesn't justify you stealing, right? Uh, yeah, right. So you're going to definitely come up with, like, excuses uh, to downplay it and to uh, make sure that you have the best version out there. And this was Dr. Disrespect's best version. Downplay what actually happened. You know, it's, it's a strategy where you can admit something you did that was terrible, but you can maybe make it seem not as bad as it actually is. One yeah. question yeah, looming yeah. on everyone's mind is what is going to happen to Dr. Disrespect? Based on his response, he's planning on taking a break and returning as usual. However, only time will tell if he'll make a comeback from such disgusting and character ruining behavior. Whether he will- his, if YouTube don't ban him, his viewership would be crazy. Now, there is uh, some truth, not some, but there is a lot of truth to it. If your channel is demonetized, YouTube AI, uh, the algorithm will not push you as heavy. Because, yeah, why push it when you're not going to make the money, right? But the opposite is also true, which I heard, is that even if your channel is demonetized, YouTube's still going to place ads on your videos. But instead of paying you, they're going to keep 100% of the money, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, I've heard that too. I think that's true as well. But uh, so on that, I guess they're still going to push you out. The alg Because the algorithm would be like, yeah, bro, like he's this channel got ads on it. Yeah, push it out. But in return, Doc would not get paid. YouTube will keep 100% of the money on his behalf. But if no ads are played, then they're not going to promote the channel. But I think his couple of first couple of streams are truly going to be uh, insane in viewership if YouTube doesn't ban his channel. If he's banned, then it's kind of over. I guess he's going to go to Kick or Rumble maybe. Uh, and yeah, I'm not saying that his numbers not gonna be crazy there. Perhaps they're gonna be crazy there, but you guys gotta understand that the masses are on YouTube, the masses are on Twitch was legally charged or not, that does not change the court of public opinion. And being in your late 30s having inappropriate interactions with a minor is career ending no matter how good your reputation is. I think Mudaha put it well. You know, at the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, this is just a gross thing to be doing. Yeah. And there is no defense for this kind of behavior. And I firmly believe like as, you know, even on YouTube, like this guy shouldn't even be streaming anywhere. Like what is proven is if you are interacting in a negative fashion with anybody that is a minor, you are not to be trusted on any social media platform whatsoever. It really seems like this fair. is the big That that's fair. Yeah beginning of the end for Dr. Disrespect's reputation and career. With new articles coming out from inside sources claiming he did know the age of the victim and was sexting with them, YouTube removing him from their partner program and his YouTube Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. So the guys that actually leaked it. Now these sources, uh, you can question them absolutely. And if you're still demanding for evidence, I think that's your right. Okay, fair. But you gotta understand that Doc himself has admitted to it. And there's a reason why Midnight Society has fired them, the studio that he owned. They said the facts. They seen the facts. It looks like... It sounded like to me that they've seen the evidence. Maybe not, but that's how it sounds like. So them dropping him and everybody else dropping him, there's definitely a reason for it. Yeah, so... And now YouTube is dropping uh, him too channel losing over 50,000 subscribers within just days of his response going live. The more information that comes out revolving around the situation, the worse it begins to look for Dr. Disrespect. Yeah. Over the coming weeks, it's likely that he'll lose hundreds of thousands of subscribers and possibly have one of the biggest downfalls in- Guys, check out this video on the screen because recently uh, there are a lot of crazy rumors uh, going around right now. I'm not sure if they're real or not, but this is uh, the conversation that's happening. Check out this video on the screen. If you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left.